Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel um, Big Data Hands-On Training uh, Here is where I upload all my recorded videos, all these hands-on videos So if you really like my video, please go and hit the subscribe channel and please share to your friends so that anybody can benefit out of this uh, Hadoop hands-on session So without wasting any more time, let's go into a start our exercise So we are going to see today about how to import RDBMS table from MySQL into your Hadoop ecosystem. So, mm, so before that, uh, I want to create a file structure. So I have already created it. It is present in our user Cloudera hands-on. So this is our Hue file browser where you can um, see uh, how is your Hadoop distribution file system data. Uh, rec uh, data is getting stored and uh, whatever you do in your uh, command terminal, Hue is a uh, rest rest api where you can leverage this tool to view the data um, <clears throat> so this is where i'm going to do all my exercises so let's uh, go to mysql and uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to import this orders table into our uh, hadoop ecosystem so this is your mysql and uh, select count star from orders limit, limit. so we do have six triple eight three records in orders table so we are going to import this entire table into our um, hadoop ecosystem for our further processing so coming back to scoop let's yeah and see the path from cloud era need cd user lib scoop bin Login into a scoop CD pin minus NTR. Okay, from here where we can execute all our scoop commands. So today we are going to import this uh, um, orders table into our Hadoop ecosystem. So let before that we are going to check uh, whether uh, there is any data within this uh, um, existing path. So go to your hive. Uh, hue file browser and there is no data in user cloud era our hands on folder there is no data present in this meanwhile you can check the same in from your command prompt also <coughs> I'm sorry so hdfs dfs minus ls you have to give the full path of your Hadoop file directory Laudera and uh, this is hands on so there is nothing inside or else we, we can see some data into it so let us execute our scoop command scoop Import is the command to import uh, your desired uh, RDBMS table, one of your RDBMS table into your Hadoop ecosystem. So backward slash, you have to use our connection string. Connect. So JDBC colon mysql colon forward slash start dot loadera 3306 and uh, the database is retail underscore db so username retail 
tail underscore dba prompt for the password and uh, minus minus table is what you use to import your table so orders is the table name which we want to import so we are giving the table name which we want to import and uh, you can specify what is your uh, file uh, output file structure it should be it can be either your text file it can be your json file it can be your uh, binary file so based on that uh, you have to select your file structure by default it is text so even though if you don't give any files uh, you know file format automatically it will be uh, taken as a file um, it will be taken as text file so as text file is your <coughs> file format and we have to give the target directory so where you want to import it minus minus target directory equal to as you know it is user cloud era hands on so after executing this particular scoop command we'll be seeing this order table getting imported into your hadoop uh, hadoop file system so let us execute it and validate it will prompt for the password it should cloud era is a password so it will uh, internally submit a map reduce job so it is executing this query oops there are some issues we have to check what it is okay hands on already exist okay we have to give the table name uh, orders. let's see this time it should execute because we, are, we have missed giving the table name last time yes it is submitting the map reduce job so the map reduce job has submitted and uh, i will explain about uh, boundary con uh, 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 what is called as boundary query so this is the boundary bounding valves query so it takes the minimum record and maximum record and uh, do the calculation for the file splits maybe this is not the ideal video to cover all these advanced stuff so let, let us decide uh, discuss all these things after some time so by default it has uh, it has taken the input file and split it into four based on uh, this bounding valves query it is a default bounding valves query where we haven't mentioned anything uh, so four map uh, it, it is actually uh, taken as four splits and it will create four output files and each is stored in a different node so MapReduce job is completed so go to your file hue and uh, just refresh and you can see your orders file you do have four output files because by default your MapReduce job your Hadoop framework has divided your file into four and uh, it has processed it has applied the map reduce program on each of the in you know, each of the uh, split of the input file so that we get four output files so we can see the data as text file so here you go so you can see this is the output file created so you can see uh, in all the four files you have data so thank you so much guys and uh, we can see uh, some other tutorial in next video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel big data hands-on training and uh, thank you so much